Hey guys, sorry it's been a while since I've made any new videos recently. I've uh, just been busy with this, that, and the other. You know how life goes. But uh, I thought I'd give you a sneak peek of the VVE Assistant 2 that I'm working on. I did get a chance to write some code the other day. Still got a, quite a bit to do, but I think I at least have a, a demo to show you kind of the direction this is improving. The interface has been made a lot cleaner, a lot better. It's simpler and more powerful and should be a lot less clicks for you. So you can see that we have all these tabs at the top, starting with histogram. I already copied this to the clipboard. We just hit this icon and it pops it in here. And you notice we don't have any lines for the zones. And so that's coming up. So for the zones, we're going to come into here and we're just going to copy these guys. And so. And then paste this in here. And now here's kind of where the magic happens. We're going to now put in the VE stuff. So we're going to go back into our tune. Copy this and dunk it in here. And now a few things. First of all, all these zone lines are now solid. They work much better. Uh, the previous version, they were kind of sketchy and flaky uh, and they would kind of disappear and you'd have to scroll around but they're legit now they work so i'm super happy with that the other nice thing um, is the zoom so you can kind of zoom out if you wanted to see everything all at once should make life a little bit easier there are some options for whatever you want so that's kind of nice um, the histogram now that we defined our zones it's putting in all the little boxes for us as well but the other nice thing, since we defined the zones and we gave it the final air mass, it is able now to back calculate the coefficients. So this is kind of a, a nice thing now that it, for the old one, you know, you had professional mode, you had to manually copy those out. It was kind of a pain, but this does the work for you. I have decided to make it simpler and you notice we have old and new. So the old is just going to be your starting point for reference and some of the background calculations. And then new is going to be your current. So when you come in here, I copied from manifold switch open. So that's what I'm going to be tuning on. I think that 99% of everybody is going to be using that uh, method. If you wanted to tune these others in this tune, I think they're all zero. But if assuming they weren't zero, you would copy these out individually and you tune them that way. So now let's uh, take a look here. Where were we? So now what about intake and exhaust coefficients? Here's the really cool part that I'm excited about. In this particular tune, uh, this uh, 3.6 liter V6 Camaro, it's dual overhead cam. So when we come up here, we're going to go to open. And rather than copying the coefficients, we can let math and the program work for us. So I'm going to max this out at 20 degrees. And copy this guy out, as always, copy with axis. And this is our little import guy right here. So we're going to drop it in. And we're going to hit save and exit. And then it about back calculates the intake coefficients. So if you were doing your normal variable cam on your V8 stuff, you could do the same thing. In this case, uh, we also have exhaust, so we'll just knock this down to zero and pop this guy on 20. Copy with axis. Drop it in. And it will calculate everything for us. And then that brings us to the tuning tab. And so uh, this little pop-out window here will, and this will, you know, no matter what I click on, um, it's going to stay up and I can move it wherever I want to. But this is going to allow me to change the running conditions. So this way I can tune any variable cam positions immediately on the fly, as well as change the zones, which would be pretty nice. Uh, I can change the view up here um, if I just wanted to see, well, what's the histogram look like? And what was my starting VE versus the current VE? And we have some interpolate buttons here. And the, the interesting thing, I need to add an option to not immediately 
calculate coefficients. But if I was to do something crazy like this, and I do click this button, not only does it interpolate, but it automatically recalculates the coefficients and updates this graph. So you can see the impact of that immediate interpolation. So uh, I would need to give you the option to be able to basically um, hold off. Like maybe you wanted to do kind of a batch or group change and then an interpolation or a back calculate coefficients, I should say. Um, you do right now, we do have the iterations. So if you want to, and this is going back to how many times do you want to apply the histogram? So we'll just do five here. And it's going to kick off. You have a little status bar. I made some changes and this thing goes flat and then it pops back to life. So I need to troubleshoot that. But again, still lots of changes uh, to make. But the other nice thing is as you get data then for your intake and your exhaust potentially, uh, those uh, histogram values, it will calculate those coefficients for you properly the same way that you're tuning it when the cam is parked. Anyway, so uh, I still need to add some more buttons up here for more options. Ideally, I would really love to have a way like where you could, so for instance, we can see how this zone here just totally drops off. I would like to be able to come over to here and say, hey, this, I want to make this, like just kind of raise this whole side up. Um, or instead, you know, you can see this is totally flat, but maybe I want it more roundish or dome shape. Like I want to be able to provide a way to say, hey, manipulate this shape so it starts taking more of a flat or more of a curved shape, whether that's in the X or Y dimension, rather than you having to go in and, and try to manually alter the values to get the shape that you want. Anyway, I hope you like what you see. If you have any of the other ideas, let me know. But uh, this is this is taking shape, and uh, hopefully, I'll get this finished one of these days. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care.